Hello guys, welcome to the new episode of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the PC. It has been some time, but hey, we're back and uh, let's get let's get some work to do in it. So what do we have to do? I need to go through the dungeon. Okay, let's find the ectoplasm at the dungeon for a, for a bloody horn. Is it here? Did I already do this? I think I already did this. It was one of the secrets. Yeah. I've got excuses for it. Okay, if I'm wrong, I've got excuses for it. It was a harsh week. School is back at the end. But not because school is starting again. Because the start of school doesn't matter too much. It's mostly like... my uh, th This week was very hard for the liver. Because I partied quite a lot, to be honest. Ooh, other card. But yeah, I partied quite hard. I went to I went to Ghent and I love partying in Ghent because Ghent is just for sure if you're a student, it's my favorite place to party. And I also partied in Antwerp because Well, I study in Antwerp and I promised my friend I would go to the to the student party in Antwerp. So yeah. First I just drank with my buddy on Tuesday, some buddies of mine. And that wasn't healthy, because, well, this looks fun. But yeah, I just simply said that day, uh, two police fans arrived at my door, but I, I've got a good explanation for this. So, a lad of mine, he was vaping in my room. It's not, it's not my fault, alright? It's not my fault that two police fans showed up at my uh, student room. A college dorm. Well, it's not exactly college dorms here in Belgium. It's something else. It's from a third party, but it's it has also been notified to the government because it's not the same as an apartment. But shortly said. So my friend, uh, he was vaping outside with fun first to the pub, and a uh, and a lad of mine who lives also just next door. Who is also a student because everyone is a student there. Um, he was like. Hey, uh, if you vape into... Give me a minute. Oh, wait. Okay, no, I remember again. Uh, uh, my mate said, if you smoke with a vape into a uh, smoke detector, because it's not the uh, consistency of like, if you smoke or something is on fire, which is logical, um, or smoking of cigarettes, because, well, yeah, that's also fire, and I almost died there. He said, like, ah, does it matter? It will be alright. The alarm won't get off. So, my friends eventually smoked into the alarm, and I've got 10 cards. And I got another health bar, I doubled my health, just like that. But, um, simply said, my friend was all like, alright, let's try that out. So he took his vape and he smoked directly, but legit directly, in the break, <laughs> into the smoke detector. And I was like, oh no, this is not going good. It's not going to be good. And we see two police fans just parking outside the place. First of all, we didn't hear the smoke detector go off, not at all. Which was actually very weird because it's kind of important that it goes off for if we're burning to death and we're already asleep so we know we are burning to death instead of it's too late. <laughs> so two police fans just park near near our uh, near our dormitories to say it like that next to our building and um, my first reaction was like ah oh, that, that, that's for someone else that doesn't matter to us. So, we just ignore it, and a few bloody moments later, my dormitory got called. So, every dormitory has its own doorbell. And then, out of nowhere, we heard the doorbell, and we were like, oh fuck. The poli those two police fans are for us. Like, they sent two police fans for a smoke detector that got, got off. And we were like, oh fuck, this, this is not good. So, one friend of mine already died, and when I mean he died, I mean like, he was, he was puking in the toilet, and then he, 
he just didn't move for an hour or something. After a while, my friend and I were both like, uh, where, where did our friend go? <laughs> Is he still alive? Is he still at the toilet? Uh, it, well, apparently he was still at the toilet, so he wasn't in the mood to go. He was isn't he wasn't in the state to go. So my friend wasn't in the state to go. So me and my other friends had to go downstairs to explain the situation. But I was not going to say like, ah yes, my friend told my other friend it was okay to smoke into a bloody smoke detector because well yeah the police would be like ah oh, fuck bloody idiots this is this is why you, we had to come to your bloody dormitory at 2 a.m <laughs> so i said to my friend like okay just let me talk and i'm going to try to fix it so my uh the, pol the police comes up we open the door and they're like yeah uh there was the rent a smoke detector off in your room uh what happened so i was like oh yeah I simply told him like, well, we are sincerely sorry, my friend vapes and he kind of vaped by accident inside my dormitory and the smoke detector went off. We are so extremely sorry for it. It, it won't happen again. And the police was or first a bit sketched like, mm, sure, sure. It, it will be that, but after a, f a while, well, we convinced them, or at least we thought we convinced them. I think we convinced them pretty fine, decently enough. So, because they went away, we were both actually also pretty drunk because we just uh, drank a lot of beer and a few whiskeys. So yeah. <laughs> My incalculation uh, capabilities were not on par with my usual self, but in the end, we just thought police went away and everything good. And luckily, I was not my intention to do for pity's sake. So, in the end, police went away, and the boss of the of the building called me and she, she was like hey is everything all right smoke detector <laughs> went off and everything and i was like god damn it i've got to do the same explanation again and i just have to hope that it works again and i was going to make it extremely clear that i don't smoke at all because i'm a smoker because it costs way too much money for what it's worth i rather just drink it's better for your lungs it's worse for your liver, but a liver is a bit stronger than lungs, in it. So in the end, the homeowner didn't give as much of a infuriation. She was like, "All right, no problem. Just make sure it won't happen again." It's like, "Yeah, I will make sure it won't happen again." If my bloody friends aren't stupid again, like, "Ooh, that sounds like a good idea, doesn't it?" So in the end, it was all good, and then. That was that was that it. That was the most weird thing that happened this Tuesday. On Wednesday, I went to something called Student Kickoff in Ghent, and that was that was just that was just mental. My my first my first beverage with meals was was a liter beer with nine hot wings because that was the special of the day. If you buy a liter beer, you get nine hot wings. But that day went so weird because there were multiple friend groups of mine there and um, I kind of left temporary one of my friend groups and I kind of temporarily left them for I don't know two hours I think I, would, uh, I went with uh, other friends of mine for a minute <laughs> only two of them knew that I went away and they didn't knew for how long so I was like okay I'll be gone well, we just seen and then um, I was just gone for two hours uh, and I did a lot of stuff went to multiple dancing pubs and everything it, I was having a blast lads I was truly having a blast but in the end I went away from those other friends because we had a good time and I, I they also disappeared I'm just going to say that 
it's, there there's an insane amount of people at those uh, student parties so I just completely lost them I just completely lost them I had no clue where they were at all so I was like hmm I'm going back to my other friends because it took us an hour to find each other <laughs> and I know that my other friends are constantly at the same place so it was easy to track them back and that was Wednesday there was a lot of dancing like one of the highlights was so my upper torso was naked and you have a pole you one one of those dancing pubs you have a pole and one of my regular things is just pole dancing there and I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty good at pole dancing so I was pole dancing without my shirt on because everyone was yelling to do to, that I had to do that uh, that's kind of cringe but you are also cringe Die. you shall burn in assets because I don't want to and only later a day later I noticed that they had a picture of it they had let's go we got the thing got the horn that we had to have but funny thing was a day later I come across a bloody video my friends sent in the friend group that I was just dancing on a pole just like a bloody strippers pole and I'm not gonna lie I'm such a god at it I'm such a god at it and it's also very fun to do Keep an eye out for Snape. Uh, Snape doesn't matter lad Snape does not matter at all he wouldn't put your finger up on us because he's scared of our power in it and then yeah, then you had Would Thursday you and Friday. Thursday I went to that uh, student party and uh, hello Hermione. Hi, Harry. Hi, I found some bicorn horn to add to the potion. Great. I'm still trying to find the location of the next ingredient, but I should have it tracked down soon. In the meantime, I'll go add this to the potion. They're starting a dueling club, and the first meeting is today. That could be interesting. Come to the Great Hall if you want to learn how to duel. I want to learn how to duel. I'm going to be a bloody god at it, that's what I know. But thank you for interrupting me, Hermione. It was mid-sentence. But, like, Thursday was just chill. Just went to the student party, but it wasn't as big because, of course, Antwerp isn't as a big uh, party city. Or nor a student city like Ghent is, of course. And I love Kent. It's not the most beautiful city, though. The most beautiful city, in my humble opinion, is Bruges. Bruges. Chef's kiss. Bloody biblical lad. And then Friday, I went uh, to Ghent again. But that was just uh, to drink and play some D&D with friends. So, that was alright. Can everyone see me? Can you all hear me? Excellent. I started Dueling Club to train you to defend yourselves. Dueling Club meets every day in the antechamber just outside the Great Hall. In wizard dueling, the object of the exercise is to incapacitate your opponent. There are three spells you may use in dueling. Rictus Sempra, which knocks your opponent back and reduces stamina. Mimble Wimble, which prevents your opponent from accurately casting... That's a casting useless spell. spell. Expelliarmus, which, which is the most useful spell of them all. You only need Expelliarmus to win these duels. The Potter, you will have the pleasure of dueling the great Slytherin. Okay, and this is just ping pong or tennis. You can say what you want. Hit. And I already won. Well, that was easy. I know I'm a god and all, but still. That was easy. Serpent Sortia. I don't think that's Leo. Leave me alone. What was that? Did Harry just hiss? Oh my! That couldn't have been. It couldn't be. Not him. Oh, well, you're a bit jealous, aren't you, Malfoy? Oh bugger. You're a parcel mouth, Harry. You can talk to snakes. Why does it matter? It matters, Harry, because being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. 
no. Salazar exactly. Slytherin. Now the whole school's going to think you're his great 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 grandson or something. But I'm not. Anyway, well, uh, imagine Slytherin. having your last Hi, name Harry. Slytherin. Uh, then you already know for sure that that, that person isn't going to be a good Harry person at all. To be honest. <laughs> Who calls their own family name Slytherin? I just, I just, waiting to make fun of that you're a snitch, that you're a vile and sneaky person. Well, we better get outside to Herbology, Harry. Come on. Ooh, Herbology! We're going to fight big-ass living plants. This is going to be fun. But I only want to learn Sponge of Five because that's the most fun spell in this whole game. So, you see that one person there? Are you ready for a dueling montage? Well, it's not actually going to be much of a montage because it's only going to show my wins because it's so easy. Let's go! And that was number one. And that was number two. This is going to be easy. And that was perfect subtitle. And number nine. So, hello guys. Now the finale comes against number 10. But apparently my recording cut out between, uh, well, there and there. And I noticed only that I wasn't recording anymore when I was facing her. But now I'm going to go to the final one. And thank God this one doesn't have moving pillars because those moving pillars are Absolutely hell, this one is just good at ping pong. I'm Strike not gonna lie, I can do this with my eyes closed. Um, you've gotta have faith in me that I'm closing my eyes. Snuck that one in, didn't you, okay, I'm having my eyes closed. Just pure and feel I'm doing this. I've done with this way too much in my free time in the past. Oh, with eyes closed, baby! You are bad, lads. And now, let's get some extra beans, shall we? Because I love my beans. And actually, this is simply how you break the game. You constantly duel him for 200 beans, which is actually a lot. And it's actually an easy duel. You can literally do it with your eyes closed if you want to. Because it's constant rhythm that you just have to click until the AI makes the deliberate mistake. So it's just Potter. Rick the Sempra goes to Expelliarmus and you won. And I've won again. And I won again. And I won again. And I won again. And I won again. And again. And I won a final time at least for a while because I've got enough beans to buy a lot of stuff. So now and what do we do with all them beans? We're going to buy stuff. Do you have you something have? interesting? I have wig and tree bar. That is not something interesting. I'm going to Fred and George immediately to buy a better broom. Let's go around. I want I your stuff. The best model I want that broom. Public. Give me. Thank you. You are a most discerning shopper, Harry. I know, right? Sorry, old friend. I'm out of stock right now. Come back later. And I'll what go to you. Have? I have Quidditch armor, just like the Chudley Cannons wear. And thank you. <laughs> and so there goes already half of my money, but Sorry, these are also Harry. the two most expensive you at the moment. things you can buy. Then here you have the Nimbus 2001. It's full girl glory. <laughs> Look at its beauty. Okay, let's go to Herbology. Okay, let's do a bit of Herbology. Welcome to second year Herbology, everyone. And for those of you who have forgotten, I am Professor Sprout. Let's dig right in, shall we? Today, I'll teach you Defendo, the Severing Charm. Harry Potter, would you like to plant your feet in front of class and be the first to learn the spell? I'd be glad to, Professor Sprout. Whatever I use Defendo on a person though, because it's a severing charm. Another plant defusal charm. 
Ah, oh, there's again. <sighs> now, Mr. Potter, please fix your gaze on the symbol in front of you. See the pointer. It's about I'm to going to make a sheep. lot of house points again with this. And this is done. You Let's go to the challenge and go to a room where the teacher wants me to get killed. So let's go. I see the pun there. Planted the seed of greatness. I'm liking that. I love puns. Welcome, Harry Potter, to my Defindo challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which can be found in a hallway just above you. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you will find challenge stars. Connecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. All right, all right, all right. So apparently it stopped recording again. I don't know why it's constantly stopping recording because I do have enough space in my computer, which is kind of weird. Well, I'm, I'm going to try to fix this when I find a save book, and I'll be back in a sec. But you won't notice it because I'm just going to cut it out, just like my family cut me out the family pictures. That's a joke, by the way. And thank you very much. Let's get out of here. Because I got things to do. And so it cuts the ties between things. Like my family cut the ties with me. That's why, why am I making constant these jokes? Uh, of poisonous gas, Harry. Avoid well, them or use the window to cut their stems. I'm going to cut her stems. I'm going to be had A wise man once told me, though, a life without beans is a life never lived. And goodbye, and thank you. And let's cut that rope. And let's get the rope of the door. And let's go on in it, lads. I'm trying to do everything at the same time. Story of my life. Give me that. The door is open and I'm going to ignore you. Just like all my loved ones ignore me. I don't know why I'm constantly making these jokes. What's wrong with me? Probably a lot. Let's go. Although, this is actually completely useless to get beans this way because I know already how to break the system. I'm already allowed to do that. Let's go. Look at me going. I'm officially a certified speedrunner. The Harry Potter genre. Too good at this stuff. I don't need a frog, but I want a frog. It's more meat. It's well, chocolate, chocolate meat. It's chocolate meat. Actually, when is something considered meat? Is it just if it's from an animal, or what is the terminology of meat? Well, I'm not going to dwell too long on it because I do not. I cannot waste any brain power on me on these questions because I got stuff to do. And what was my Lumos good for? You're taking a piss. Okay, I already messed that one up. Something important. I missed the star because of my... Okay, I can't get all the stars anymore. That is great. Oh, I still can. I thought I had to walk on a... Okay, it doesn't matter. And flip pando. And that's an extra door open. I want to get there, but I can't. Why do I do these things to me? What is wrong with me? Well, a lot of course, but for the people who have OCD, I'm very sorry that it had to be this way. This is not my fault. This is the fault of the game. It's the game trying to teach me to think before I act, but 
Normally I do that. Not in this game. It's useless to do it in this game. We And I'm gone. Thank you for another store. Will you kindly not bite me? Can't hit you. I want you to die. I want you to fall into the pits. Arthur, do you? And now both of you will fall into the abyss forever and ever after. Like you deserve. I'm a very kind man. Who respects nature a lot. And all animals in it. And this is just satisfying. And the big one. Big one. And now you shall die too. And thank you for the beans. I want your beans too. Okay, that guy is bugged. I will leave you as a witness to see what happened this day. Tell all your friends that they hide in their holes. Or they'll end up like the rest of you that come across me. Okay, after that lovely talk, let's go to the... Flesh eating plants. Because that's cool. And let's give me these beans. And they're throwing. I don't think it's legal to throw stuff at people. I think that's uh, that's that's an issue I have here with ya. Can't just throw stuff at people and think it's all right. I will sue you for this. With other words. The school allows it when someone throws something at you, you're allowed to kill it. Doesn't matter if it's sentient or not. So we learned it, kids. If in Hogwarts someone throws a book at you, you are legally allowed to kill it. Was there a secret? Please, for love of God. Oh, nah, I see it already. It's a secret. So to go back. Okay, give me a minute. Actually, to be honest, when you think about it, it's quite fucked up that you're just cutting all these plants their arms off, to be honest. It's actually their limbs. They're big, useful limbs, and we're just cutting them off one by one, and we got our first key. Yep, I think we are legitimate sociopaths at this point. Ah, uh, it happens. There are always a few people who become sociopaths. Doesn't mean you have to be common because being a sociopath, it, it uh, it's not something useful to be. So uh, I wouldn't recommend. Just be a chill person. Don't ruin other people's lives, except in Minecraft or video games. Just don't be toxic, though. Just don't be toxic. Because nobody likes toxic person. First, going to put you into your little cabin so you can die of starvation and thirst. That's number one. Let's go. I'm gonna use you for my own benefit. Because that's how capitalism works. Using others to encourage your benefits. That's how most of things go in life. Doesn't mean you have to do that. Still be a decent person. And get a lot of out got a lot out of it. We call that tits for tat. You give and you take from the community. And here. I want your life flesh. I'm going to make potions of it. And another star. So, we've come across 12 stars. We've only got 11 because, well, mistakes have been made. Sometimes you just hear me smacking my spacebar with my thumb. Like a madman. And thank you for so, the 12 stars. If I j just miss that one star, I'm going to be kind of sad. Because I know where the star is. I want that little frog. You're going to be my meal. So one of the Harry isn't getting too much chocolate in his veins. Because he is sporting it out. That's a fact. He is exercising quite a lot in here. But still... I don't think it's healthy to eat that much chocolate. You gotta watch out, you don't get diabetes, mate. And thank you. Now we've got all 
now we have crossed all 14 stars and we would have normally have gotten 14 but well life finds a way to make you sad and disappointed and that's the door already open and you are getting in the other one well this is taking it it's beautiful time and the final flipendo nice chest and there it is the big ass star and then we complete another challenge room I first want to have the chests because uh, a better score on your exams or beans well beans are a high priority I, I saw it 1,500 and I entered more than double. 133 house points. Let's go. And now we can open more of, of the map. Okay, Ron, what Harry, have you in store for me this time? You can find the boomslang skin out in the greenhouse. Follow me, Harry. Alrighty then, let's go to the boomslang greenhouse. I hope you're not going to trap me in there. Like my mother that trapped me in the basement. Fun fact, that one is actually true. <laughs> that one is actually true. But yeah, that that, that happens. That well, happens sometimes. Everyone makes mistake. And now I'm going to brew some potions because I've got a lot of ingredients. And thank you. So let's get these ingredients, shall we run? Well, probably I am going to have to the find ingredients. Right inside that door, Harry. I'll watch out for Professor Sprout. Good luck. <sighs> All right then. Thank you, Ron, for being useful. Star, bronze star, and I've got another life, another health bar. Or how this game calls it. A stamina bar. But it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Call it how we like to call it. I'm going to kill these lovely mushrooms. Because uh, natural selection and unfortunately for them. I am part of the living organisms. And there goes one arm, there goes two arms. What, uh, what is that? For your lovely beans. You are no problem at all to me because I am just great. I am the goat, in my humble opinion. The greatest of all time. That's what I say to myself when I'm crying asleep. And let's get a move on. Can I make this jump? I can make this jump. So I don't have to go all the way back. Look, those are the tactics. Those are the tactics. Thank you very much. And now, we have done most of it to get... What's it called? Uh, okay, apparently I just gotta get true vines. Doesn't matter. They don't tell me what I need to find. They just gotta, gotta go to Herbology and you gotta get, have to cut true vines. I know what I need to get. I need to get that. And I will get it. I can be sure of that. And I'm going to get your arms off. Oh, spiders. Fun. Big ass spiders. Luckily, I don't have arachnophobia. This is a particularly nasty variety of spider. Their bites are extremely poisonous, so stay away and cast Richter Sempra to stun them. Can't I just use the Fendo and cut them to pieces? Why even does our school have big poisonous spiders in near the herbology classroom? Shouldn't we get some exterminator? We're specialized in big arachnids 
Yeah, if there are huge chest spiders, are there also other huge chest arachnids like super big scorpions? That would be cool though. That would be scary, but cool too. It's a bit of a uh, balance you need to find, but I, I think I prefer smaller scorpions, IRL. Maybe only if they were in confined space, those big scorpions, because I would look cool though. I want secrets, I want loot. It's in loot for of me. And there it is, that's what I need. First, let's loot up. I'm actually stealing a lot of things of school property, it's... It's not normal. But as long as they don't catch me, I can do it. Because it's a video game. Don't do this in real life. Let's go! Hey Hermione, I found a bunch of shredded boom slang skin for the polyjuice potion. That's great, Harry! I'll go add it to the potion right now. The weekly ass point ceremony is starting soon. You remember where it is, don't you? Hmm. Well, of course I remember where it is. It's the most important room the game. Let's get to the house point ceremony, the most important part of the day. Hello everyone. And I won again. It's time. I won again. House point Just like ceremony. I should. Let's I won again. Which house is Okay, let's get them beans, baby. Cause now I want to go to the new unlocked room. The new unlocked area. Oh that's for Spongify, that's gonna take a bit too long. I can just jump across it, I'll get also most of the beans. This is not what the game intended. But I'm going to make use of it. Give me all them beans. Yeet! In the second week of December, Professor McGonagall collected Sorry, December? those who would be staying at school over Christmas. That's where Harry, Ron and Hermione signed up. They heard that We're pretty far in the school year, we're almost halfway done. Because uh, the, the new exams are coming up. It's all the holidays, so the exams already passed. I Ooh. Need to head up to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom and see how the Polyjuice potion is coming on. I hope Hermione doesn't need any more ingredients. Well, she better doesn't. Okay, let's get another secret. Is, uh, they are useful. Do you have a card for me? You have a silver card for me. Thank you. Let's go and save the game. So, lads and lasses, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you leave a like because that would be appreciated. Not that it's going to do much, but it's hopefully going to do something at least. And, um,. I'll see you uh, next time. Cheers.